riding bikes and skateboards. Despite heavy rain, just some of the ways Parisians are getting around on the biggest ever car-free day in the French capital. Cars are banned from almost half the city on Sunday. Only taxis and emergency vehicles are permitted, allowing everyone to enjoy roads, usually jammed with traffic. It would be great if the Paris Council went even further and pedestrianised the whole of Paris, so it would only be for bicycles and public transport and no more cars. It's great. There's less noise, less traffic, it's much calmer and probably less polluted. It's really pleasant to be in Paris like this. The day is part of a push by the Paris mayor to reduce air pollution. The city is already home to an electric car scheme and a shared bike service like this one. And the council offers companies incentives to be more environmentally friendly. The World Health Organization says that air pollution kills nearly 40,000 people in France every year. More than 6,000 in Paris, where pollution from heavy traffic is mainly to blame. It's not just health, but also well-being. Recently there was a poll saying 70% of professionals want to leave Paris for other cities. The number one reason they give isn't security or jobs, but pollution. Critics say some of the council's initiatives are little more than a PR exercise. Even on this car-free day, many drivers ignored the ban. A recently closed road by the River Seine has infuriated some who say it's only diverted traffic onto other routes. We understand the environmental issue, but, but we believe and we, we made some calculation that the impact of that single measure is very small. It will be very small on the overall uh, climate change, on the overall quality of air. One-off days like this may not have a long-term impact on the city's air quality, but Mayor Anne Hidalgo hopes they could inspire Parisians to think about alternatives to cars, whatever their age. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.